Hi, my name is Nathan, and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in Acts chapter 5, verses 3 and 4. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied to men, but to God. Our daily word for today is the word lied. Let's say this word together. Lied. So what does the word lied mean? Well, the key word or the root word is lie. So what does it mean to lie? Well, to lie means to be dishonest, means to not tell the truth, to not be upright in how you speak about true things. So when you lie about something, I think we can all think of examples where we have lied or we've been lied to. Uh, there's something that happened and we didn't tell the truth. We said something different. Maybe when you were a kid, um, maybe your, your mom or your dad asked you if you had any homework and you knew you had homework, but you wanted to go play. So you lied and you said, nope, I have no homework. So you could go play. So lying, we can all share and, uh, and empathize with one another in the experience of lying or being lied to. But to lie means to be dishonest or not tell the truth. So let's take that understanding of the word lie and put it back into our scripture, into, into Acts. This story is about Ananias and Sapphira and what happens is they keep money from the church and they don't totally disclose what they've done with the money and they, they act selfishly, and it's a, it's a pretty dramatic and extreme story in the, uh, the account of the early church. But let's take it in the context of the word lie. What happens is that when it comes out that the church finds out what they've done um, with this money, that they haven't been totally honest about what they did with the money, and they actually selfishly kept some for themselves, thinking that they could keep it and give some of it away, but then kind of dishonestly say that they gave everything. What happens is it comes out and Peter confronts them. And basically he says, how could you think you could do this? How could you think you, that you could lie to God about this? You know, he's saying that this isn't just lying to us, your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, the church. He's saying you're lying to God about what you've done. And that's what happens when you start to understand the perspective of the gospel in your life and just the gospel in its nature. You start to realize that your sin is not necessarily stopping at just the people that you're sinning against. When you're lying to your mom or your dad that you don't have any homework, it's not just ending with your mom or dad, but you're lying to God. It goes through that interaction with people and what you're uh, initially doing and it's landing at God. You know, your sins are against the Lord. And I think we often have this idea that we can hide things, that maybe God is, is so distracted, there's so many big issues around the world that he must be occupied by. I, I could do this thing. I think if I protect it, maybe if I try to dress it up as something that maybe is serving him, even though I know in my heart that it's not, it's selfish, you think you can get away with it. We all have that. Sin wants to find a way to not honor God. Sin wants to find a way to worship ourselves and not worship the living God. And this video here, and hopefully other, other resources that you go to to help you in your faith, is here to tell you that you cannot hide anything from God. And that's not there to scare you, but it is there to scare you. Because he knows and he takes account of everything you're doing. And if you go to church just to go to church because you think it'll make him happy, but in your heart you're at home watching a football game, if you forgive a person in word, but in your heart you're holding resentment against that person and hoping that something bad happens, none of that is hidden. So I'm here as one of the people I hope in your life to tell you that nothing you do is hidden from the Lord. He sees everything. 
And while that should strike some fear in us, that he is all-knowing and he's everywhere, he's omnipresent, we should also realize that because of that, we can understand his grace even more. Because even though he knows that we have that impulse, he did what he did in Jesus. He did what he did and he forgave us of that. And he continues to work with us and be patient with us, even though we know our impulses are to try to get away with stuff and to lie about something when we're in a jam, when we're stuck. But remember, you can't hide anything from God. So why waste any more time thinking that you can get away with it and just be upfront and honest? And if you don't like going to church, then admit that. But go to the Lord and say, Lord, help me to enjoy it. Help me to know why I don't enjoy it. If you don't like reading your Bible, then stop going through your devotional reading and ask the Lord, say, God, make the Bible come alive again, or maybe for the first time. Everything is revealed to the Lord. He knows everything we're doing. He knows every thought we have. We can't hide from God. So why try? Why try and convince ourselves we can? Because we can't. But realize that that should highlight His grace even more because He knows all that's in our heart, the good and the evil, and He still did what He did in Jesus. So remember, everything you do is laid out before the Lord. So come to him and say, Lord, this is everything I am. Heal what's broken, fix what is broken, and help me to live genuinely, honestly, for you. And to do everything honestly, up front, in the open, for you, for the name of Jesus. Well, that does it for today's episode of The Daily Word. If you like this video or found it helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And maybe try to use this word in your daily life. What are some experiences that you've been lied to or that you've lied? But in the context of the scripture, just remember, there's nothing that is hidden from God. Everything you do, every motive and motivation in your heart is revealed to the Lord. So today, make a promise today and say, Lord, reveal what's in my heart. Give me the confidence and the faith to be able to lay everything on the table and to know that you want me just to be honest not laying things out so that he can punish you, but just so that you can be upfront and really embrace a genuine, open and sincere, honest faith in Jesus. That's my prayer for you today. Well, my name is Nathan and this was your daily word. See you next time.